Ever wondered how the world's best New Year celebrations are prepared? No? Well, you're about to find out. There's an art to crafting the perfect New Year's Eve bash. It's not just a hasty countdown to midnight, but a meticulously orchestrated event, celebrated in a myriad of ways around the globe. Picture this, in the far reaches of the East, preparations for the Lunar New Year, also known as the Spring Festival, are underway. This year, it's the Year of the Rabbit, and the level of detail involved in the celebrations is simply astonishing. Festivities last a whopping 15 days, with an array of tasks to complete. From making festive cakes and puddings, hanging red banners to rid homes of bad luck, to avoiding haircuts on the first day of the new year, it's a vibrant mix of tradition and superstition, all tied together with a common thread of family, friendship, and good fortune. Then there's the grand family reunion dinner on Lunar New Year's Eve, laden with dishes that carry the promise of luck. The first few days of the new year are spent visiting loved ones, exchanging gifts, and handing out red envelopes to children and unmarried juniors. The festival concludes with lantern displays and fairs on the 15th day, also known as Chinese Valentine's Day. So, as you can see, there's a lot more to New Year's Eve than just popping champagne at midnight. Now, as much as we love a well-planned party, things don't always go as expected, especially on New Year's Eve. Let's take a trip down memory lane and delve into some hilarious anecdotes and mishaps that have occurred during New Year's Eve celebrations. Picture this. You're in the heart of New York City, amidst the bustling crowd waiting for the famous fireworks show. The countdown begins and at the stroke of midnight, nothing. Nada. Zilch. The fireworks refuse to ignite, leaving a sea of disappointed faces. Talk about a damp squib, eh? Or how about this one? A gentleman, let's call him John, decided to host a sophisticated soiree to ring in the new year. He'd planned everything meticulously. The food, the music, the decor. But John forgot one crucial element. Setting his clock right. You see, John was blissfully unaware that his clock was running two hours slow. So while the rest of the world had already welcomed the new year, John and his guests were still waiting for the clock to strike 12. Imagine their surprise when they realized they'd missed the entire countdown. And let's not forget about cultural misunderstandings that can lead to some humorous situations like our friend from the States who during a trip to China was handed a red envelope. Unknown to him, this is a traditional gift given during the Lunar New Year. Instead of accepting it with grace, he thought it was a bill and started arguing with his host about overcharging for the dinner. Quite the faux pas, wouldn't you say? Then there's the classic tale of the party goer who can't quite make it to midnight. You know the one. They start the night with gusto, dancing and singing, only to be found fast asleep on the couch, party had askew, long before the clock strikes 12. A gentle reminder, perhaps, that it's not how you start the night, but how you finish it that counts. Remember, no matter how much you prepare, always expect the unexpected on New Year's Eve. But let's not forget, safety is paramount when it comes to large-scale celebrations. In major cities like New York and Chicago, where the New Year's Eve parties are as bright as a supernova, security is beefed up to the nines. They're preparing for the return of full-capacity crowds, and while there are no specific threats, they're not taking any chances. They're deploying everything from canine teams to explosives and drone detections and even multi-layered screening. It's like a James Bond movie minus the shaken, not stirred martinis. And speaking of prohibited items, it's quite an interesting list. Umbrellas, chairs, blankets, backpacks, and alcohol. So remember, leave your umbrellas and chairs at home, folks. It seems the only thing you're allowed to bring is your festive spirit and a sense of humor. So as you raise your glass to welcome the new year, Spare a thought for the hardworking individuals keeping us safe. And finally, amidst all the revelry, New Year's Eve is a time for reflection and resilience. It's a pause, a moment to look back at the year gone by, to honor the trials we've weathered, the lessons we've learned, and the strength we've discovered within ourselves. Cities like Buffalo are a shining example of this spirit. They're not shying away from acknowledging the difficulties of the past year. Instead, they're choosing to move forward as a resilient community. This resilience, this determination to persevere, is a testament to the indomitable human spirit. It's a reminder that no matter how challenging the times, we have the capacity to rise, to rebuild, and to renew. It's about honoring the past, embracing the present, and looking forward to the future with hope and optimism. So, as we bid farewell to the old year and usher in the new, remember to celebrate, reflect, and most importantly, be resilient. Happy New Year, everyone!